Now the next problem that we're facing is that um, you know if I zoom out you can see that basically the sidebar and the post title are not inside they're not center aligned in fact neither is the footer now getting the footer center aligned is pretty easy you just do margin zero auto we're dealing with a width up here of 960 pixels so if I add the footer to that list then we're gonna get a centered footer which is good now to get the sidebar and this left content section to all flow nicely together I'm going to wrap them in another section tag. And I'm going to call this layout or container. Container is a good general term. So I have a section of left content and then a side tag. And those guys are going to be inside a section container. And the container is going to have a margin of zero auto, which will make it centered, and a width of 960 pixels. Let's try that. Oh, and a display block. All right. So now we're starting to get the beginnings of a design that's properly structured. Now, in order for us to get the rest of this moving forward, we're probably going to have to do quite a bit of CSS styling and maybe some slight modifications to our design here. So I want my, I want, actually want maybe four more paragraphs, or I want four paragraphs total. So I'm just going to copy these two paragraphs. Now I have four paragraphs to deal with, and then I have a pull quote. So with these five paragraph tags, I want them to be styled slightly differently. For starters, I'm just going to do it where they're all working the same way, and I'm going to have the pull quote be the first kind of design element that we're going to do first. So the pull quote is going to have a, slight, a slightly different uh, design associated with it. So we have this article. And I want to say that article p dot pull quote. In other words, anything that's a pull quote inside of an article is gonna let's say float right. Oops. Maybe has a larger font size, say thirty two pixels a line height which is the spacing between the lines of 25 pixels some padding of 15 pixels and I'll just give it a a very simple background for now of a light gray So there's our pull quote probably want to change the width maybe make it 140 pixels so it's a little smaller and now it's appearing on the left side so this is kinda of interesting now we can take this a step further and we can add a border radius of 15 pixels. Now I'm going to only work with the Mozilla border radiuses. Uh, now that I've explained how you can go from Mozilla and WebKit uh, you know, browser compatibility, uh, if you want to convert these examples into WebKit, it's not too difficult. Uh, just look at the last video in the series. Uh, but I'm going to be sticking to Mozilla for the rest of this series. So now if I refresh this, you'll notice I'm getting these rounded corners, which is a good sign. We'll make it, let's say, italic, font family, Georgia. Already it's starting to look better. And I'm going to maybe make the color a little more interesting. See DA one C one C that should be a light red of some sort. And I'm going to add a bit of a bit more padding. No, the padding's good. Maybe some margin to the margin right. 
or margin left rather. Let's say I have 10 pixels. Let's say 20 pixels. Yeah, so there's a little more space to breathe. And paragraphs in general need some work. So article P, we'll just, let's say, make the font size 13 pixels, give some margin between paragraphs, add a bit of a line height, and let's see what that looks like. That looks a little better. And yeah, that looks good. Also, I want my sidebar to be over a little bit, so I'll just say, Well, that'll be in the actual article, which we can do as well. So I'll say article, say give that a width of, well, I already have my article defined here. Hold on. So I have left content, and then I have an article inside that. So the actual article is going to be 600 pixels as well as the left content section. The reason is is that eventually I want this to appear in two columns. So we're going to have like a really quite an advanced layout in terms of the way that it's it's going to be laid out. It's going to have various columns and it should be pretty pretty robust as well. So I'm just going to add some some margins around the edges and that looks pretty good. That's a good start. I'm going to add a background to the body and what that'll do is that'll give the whole thing a bit of a bit more definition. So this is going to actually be a gradient and it'll start on the top, top center, start white and then go down to A gray and 30% means that don't go all the way to the end in fact make it gray after just a little bit not too sure why we're getting a repeat but it should be okay it's probably just because I'm so far zoomed out so now that we have this background we can see that our post is kind of swimming in the middle of nowhere and uh, I want to, of course, compensate for that. So in my left content section, let's go back here. We've got our container. I'm going to add a background of white, FFFF. And I'm going to save that. Now, we're getting some really tight margins here, which isn't too nice. So again, I'm going to add some, just some space around it. First thing I want to do is I want to add a border radius. So we get some nice rounded corners. And I'm going to add a top margin to my container. There we go. So now both of these are going to be aligned, the sidebar is going to be aligned, but there's still going to be a bit of space.